In this video, I'll be showing you how you can enable the Elementor nested elements and how you can use them on your website. Let's get started. Once you're over in your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to Elementor, go to settings, go to features and enable the Flexbox container. Once you activate it, you see here down below the nested elements, activate them too, and then scroll down till you hit the save changes. Click that and now you'll see the green button that is activated. And now let's head over to our pages. In our pages, I'll create a new page. I'll add a new one. Let's call it um, test nested elements page. And let's hit the edit with Elementor button. Once we are on the page, I've activated the Elementor canvas mode that you can head over to your wrench icon over here and activate it through the page layout options over here, Elementor canvas. What you want to do is head over to tabs and drag and drop it to the box. Right over here, as you can see, and if you're familiar a little bit with the Elementor Flex box, that you can see here that we have an edit container and this container lives inside this tab and the same goes for tab number two and tab number three. What is happening over here is that in the past, when you wanted to make a specific container or a specific design inside your tabs, you were not be able to do that. And in this update, you can make it through editing or adding some widgets straight to your container without using any short codes or any walkarounds. So let's see that in action. Let's see and drag some elements and try that out straight away. So let's go to tab number one. Let's go over here and select some elements. Let's drag a heading. Let's drag an image. And yeah, let's choose an image. Let's choose this one. Let's put it on a 50. 50% and I see that it's outside of my container. So let's head it back over here and right over here. So let's center this one and let's go to tab number two, head over here, add some other elements. Let's add a heading, let's center it. Let's go back over to the elements and let's put a button right beneath the heading and center it also. Let's go to tab number three and head over to elements again. And over here, let's say I want to, um, yeah, let's do a flip box. Yeah, why not? Cool. So let's publish this one and see what it does in the front end. All right, let's go to this eye icon and open it in a new tab and see those changes. So now we see that in our thumb number one, we see our heading and we see our image. Let's switch to thumb number two. Now we see our heading just only with a button and let's go to tab number three and we see here our flip box. And this is how you can use the new feature of Elementor nested elements. You can customize it however you like. Feel free to drag and drop some elements that you want, but make sure to make it also responsive. What I didn't show in this video, but obviously once we are moving into this world of responsiveness, just make sure that you do make it responsive and enable it, whether it's on tablets or on mobile. And if you have any more questions regarding that or Elementor world, WordPress or WooCommerce, or you would like to see any more videos on the channel regarding any plugins, themes, I'll be really happy if you leave it down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, I'll be really happy if you leave me a like and make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any content that I publish. I publish it on a weekly basis. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.